this class we work out five problems on verification of kirchhoff's current law kirchhoff's current law state that the algebraic sum of current meeting at a junction is equal to 0 or current towards a junction is equal to current leaving the junction now we will work out five problems problem number 1 in this problem there are six junctions that is a b c d e f the resistance between a and b is 0.02 ohms b and c is 0.01 ohms c and d is 0.03 ohms d and e is 0.01 ohms e and f is 0.01 ohms here at point a the current towards the junction is atf that is positive at point b the current leaving the junction that is 60 that is why i put minus sign here at point c current towards the junction that is 60 amps plus the current towards the junction is positive current leaving the junction is negative so really at point d 120 this is minus current leaving the junction this is 70 at point e current towards the junction positive at point f current leaving the junction 30 that is minus sign now i can write the equation let me assume current flow through the point not to ohm resistance is x therefore at in the resistor point not to ohm resistor is x plus 80 this is 80 this is x x plus 80 again at point b to c current flow is x plus 80 minus 60 that is equal to x plus 20 again the current flow c to d is x plus 20 plus 60 that is equal to x plus 80 current flows through d to e is x plus 80 minus 120 that is equal to x minus 40 current flows through e to f that is equal to x minus 40 plus 70 that is equal to x plus 30 so this is x this is x plus 80 this is x plus 20 this is x plus 80 this is x minus 40 this is x plus 30 i can write the equation 0.02 into x plus 0.02 into x plus 80 plus 0.01 into x plus 20 plus 0.03 into x plus 80 plus 0.01 into x minus 40 plus 0.01 into x plus 30 that is the equation i solve the equation x is equal to minus 41 amps the minus sign indicates which is the direction is opposite to the reference here this is the direction actual direction is this here this is 41 this is 39 41 plus 39 is equal to 80 this is 39 again current towards the junction at point b is 39 plus 21 that is equal to 60 here current leaving the junction is 39 again current leaving the junction is 21 39 plus 21 is equal to 60 here current towards the junction is 39 current towards the junction is 81 81 plus 39 is equal to 120 here current towards the junction is 70 current leaving the junction is 81 current towards the junction is 11 therefore 81 minus 11 is equal to 70 and current towards this junction f is equal to 41 current leaving the junction is 11 that is equal to 30 here the kirchhoff's current law is verified problem number 2 this is a given figure in this figure three junctions a b c and three resistors 2 ohm 3 ohm 1 ohm are connected as shown in figure let we assume current leaving the junction is negative current towards the junction is positive at junction a 3 amps is leaving that is why minus at junction b 4 amps is leaving that minus at junction c 7 amps is towards the junction that is positive let we assume current through the 2 ohm resistor is ix current through the 3 ohm resistor is ix minus 4 current through the 1 ohm resistor is ix minus 4 plus 7 that is equal to ix plus 3 i can write the equation 2 into ix plus 3 into ix minus 4 plus 1 into ix plus 3 that is equal to 0 that is equal to 2 into ix Plus 3 into i x minus 12 plus i x plus 3 is equal to 0. I simplify the equation. I x is equal to 1.5 amps. Now I have to verify Kirchhoff's current law. This is a junction A B C. This is 1.5. This is 2.5. 1.5 plus 2.5 that is equal to 4 amps. Here this is 2.5. This is 4.5. 4.5 plus 
4.5 plus 2.5 that is equal to 7. Here at junction A, 4.5 is towards the junction, 1.5 is leaving the junction, 4.5 minus 1.5 that is equal to 3 amps. Kirchhoff's current law is verified. Problem number 3. In this problem, we have to find Ix. So, the direction of Ix is towards the junction. The 10 milliamps is towards the junction, that is positive. 8 milliamps alone is leaving the junction. This 12 milliamps also towards the junction, 1 milliamps also towards the junction. Current towards the junction is equal to current leaving the junction. Therefore, 10 plus 12 plus 1 plus Ix is equal to 8. Ix is equal to minus 15. This minus sign indicates the direction is opposite to the reference. Actually, in this figure, the current is towards the junction. Original is the current 15 milliamps is leaving the junction. Then only 10 plus 12 plus 1, that is 10 plus 12 plus 1, that is equal to 15 plus 8, that is equal to 23. Current towards the junction is 23 milliamps. Current leaving the junction is 23 milliamps. Problem number 4. This is 1 ohm, 2 ohm, 3 ohm, 4 ohm. Current towards the junction, this is positive. Current leaving is 3, that is negative. This is current towards the junction, 2 amps is positive and 4 amps is negative. Now let me assume current flow through the 1 ohm resistor is x. Therefore current flow through the 2 ohm resistor is x minus 3 and current towards the 3 ohm resistor is x minus 3 plus 2 that is equal to x minus 1. Current flows through the 4 ohm resistor is x minus 1 minus 4 that is equal to x minus 5. I write the equation 1 into x plus 2 into x minus 3 plus 3 into x minus 1 plus 4 into x minus 5 and simplify the equation x is equal to 2.9 amps here x is equal to 2.9 here the direction is opposite to the reference therefore 0.1 so 2.9 plus 0.1 that is equal to 3 amps similarly this is 0.1 this is current leaving the junction here this is 2.9 minus 1 that is equal to 1.9 1.9 plus 0.1 that is equal to 2 amps here current Kirchhoff's current law is verified problem number 5 here this is 0.15 ohm this is 0.25 ohm this is 0.2 ohms this is 0.1 ohm this is 0.1 ohm here current leaving this junction is 25 amps current leaving this junction is 35 amps Current leaving the junction is 20 amps. Current towards the junction is 80 amps. We have to write this is I1 is given, this is I2. Let current flow through the 0.25 ohm resistor is I1 minus 25. And current flows through the 0.1 ohm resistor is I1 minus 25 plus I2 minus 35. That is equal to I1 plus I2 minus 60. This is the current flows through the 0.1 ohm resistor. Current flow through the this resistor is I1 plus I2 minus 60, this is minus 20, that is equal to I1 plus I2 minus 80. Now there are two loops, this is loop 1, this is loop 2. I write the loop equation, this is 0.15 into I1 plus 0.25 into I1 minus 25 minus, because this is the current direction is opposite, therefore minus 0.2 into I2 that is equal to 0. Simplify the equation, we will get 0.4 into I1 minus 0.2 into I2 minus 6.25 is equal to 0. That is the equation 1. In the second loop, 0.2 into I2 plus 0.1 into I1 plus I2 minus 60 plus 0.1 into I1 plus I2 minus 80. That is equal to 0. Again, I simplify this equation. 0.2 into I1 plus 0.4 into I2 minus 14 that is equal to 0. I got two equations. By solving these two equations, I can find I1. I1 is equal to 26.5 amps. I2 is equal to 21.75 amps. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening. Thank you.